Hello guys, today we have a MQB Volkswagen Passat 2017 with a keyless go key um, and I will show you today how to remove the clocks, um, how to read the emo data by using the VVDI Pro and VVDI adapters. Uh, I will show you how to put the ignition on as well and how to program the key. Yeah, so let's start working. First of all, you need to remove this plastic. Okay, you have two screws here. Perfect, I removed the screws. Then you need to pull hard, you have to use two hands to pull hard, uh, to pull out the um, instrument clusters. Remove the connectors from the back. Perfect, all done. We're gonna put it on the bench and we'll start working on it. Hello guys, I'm back with the MQB Passat 2017. You have here all you need on the VVDI2. It's showing you all the diagrams, everything, what adapter you have to use. Uh, today we're gonna use three uh, MQB 3526 adapter B. We have it right here. It's this one. I already connect the board. Uh, make sure again you have a good touch on the board. Connect the 12, uh, the FLMD0 to your VVDI Pro to 3.3 volts right here, as I show you in my uh, previous videos. Don't forget 12 volts here in the adapter and another 12 volts here in the VVDI Pro. Yeah, you need two different um, sources of uh, 12 volts. Okay, let's press read now. Let's see what's gonna happen. Perfect, that's the best message I can see on my VVDA. When it's saying reading, that's perfect. Now you need to wait about five to 10 minutes to read the information from the instrument clusters. Then you need to upload to VVDA2 and uh, VVDA2 is gonna um, uh, decode the information from the clusters and it's gonna give you the emo data. And then as I uh, promised in the last video and as I show in the last video, uh, I will um, also show you the phone number for the guy that you can buy the, the sink, he's a very good guy, his name is Honey, and his WhatsApp look like this, let me try to focus on my phone, oh sorry, okay, and this is his phone number, you can message him on WhatsApp and he's gonna reply to you uh, when he's available. Uh, he's the fastest guy and he can send you the sync data in roughly 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Depends how busy is the server. Okay, I will read, I will, uh, I will wait for um, the VVDI to read the data and I will get back to you. Okay guys, the information has been read it, it's all done. Let's press save. Don't rename it, just leave it like that. Save it on your desktop or whatever and we can now close the VVDI Pro, we don't need any more disconnect the VVDI Pro adapter and everything um, let's connect the VVDI too okay and we have to go now uh, on VVDI 2 Keylearn MQB platform instrument immobilizer 
and select instrument with lock neck 35 Decode demo data, press yes, upload the file that you just read it Wait for the server to calculate the emo data. Okay, press save emo data. I'm gonna rename this as emo data Volkswagen. Uh, SAT 2017 uh, Ok Hemo data was on Passat, perfect, we save it It's right here Now we can put uh, the instrument clocks back to the car We need to uh, turn on the ignition, I will show you in a second how to do it um, Let me show you also here, so we have two types of connectors um, this is one of the connector and right here it's the connector uh, that is coming into the electronic steering lock yeah this is one type of it and you have to connect three wires in the mark area right here one two three and then you'll have the uh, ignition on and then you can collect the data from the engine uh, from the instrument clusters and from the gearbox if the gearbox is automatic or in our case, I think is this one, is the second one, and this is from the BCM, it's behind the, um, the clocks, I will show you in a second. And you have this type of connector, you have to connect as well three wires, one, two, and three, tight it together, and then you'll have the ignition on. Uh, I'll put back the clocks and I'll get back to you. Okay guys, I put the clocks back, um, so now we need to turn the ignition on, and there is a computer located right here somewhere this is the connector for it hope you can see um, for the golf for the keyless one the connector is right here uh, into the um, electronic steering lock but this one it have it here there is a um, I think it's the uh, immobilizer computer right there is the keyless computer sorry okay so you need to remove the connector the only way to remove it is underneath here you just uh, you can remove it with one hand and now we need to put the ignition on I'm gonna use three wires like this to put the ignition on perfect I fit the wires into the connector and now if we make a short circuit if we tie the wires you will see that the ignition is gonna come on some tape for to tighten the wires Perfect. Sorry, it's hard with one hand. Okay, let's now read the data. Let's read the data now. Uh, we have a manual gearbox here, so we don't need a gearbox. I'm gonna read the instrument clusters first. We go to diagnostic, diagnostic unit, and 17 instruments. Customer request, then we just make a copy paste for all these codes
check that's all done. We'll save as an instrument collect. Instrument collect data. We'll save it on the desktop. We'll close this, exit. We'll go to the engine now. Close this folder, open with the engine one. And we do the same thing into the engine system. Perfect, let's save this to two. Engine collect data. Let's save it on the desktop. Okay, uh, now you have. we have to send this um, all the data. Um, we need to send the emo data uh, and the instrument collect and the engine collect or the gearbox as well, if, um, if the gearbox is automatic, we need to send to this guy. We need also to send the VIN number um, to him and he's gonna give us the sync data. Uh, I think I leave the phone number, but I will show you again. Uh... Yep, so is this guy. You can contact him by WhatsApp and uh, where he is, uh, here is his phone number. Don't try to call him, just text him on WhatsApp and uh, send him all this data and he's gonna give you the sync uh, in about like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, depends how busy is the, is the server. I will send all this data to him and I will get back to you. Sorry guys, I uh, forgot, you need also to collect the steering lock. Uh, also to the diagnostic unit, you go to 2B, um, it should be somewhere here, 2A, 2B, electrical steering lock column. You leave the ignition on as it is, uh, then press customer request and start collecting these codes. I'll try to show all these codes. Okay, let's do one by one, It'll be easier. Don't forget after you press paste, don't forget to press send, yeah? You have all the codes here.
perfect we need to save us a steering lock to be steering lock collect data and I just remember now someone asked me to uh, comment uh, if it's a zero or O so it's only zero it's no O no O from Oscar it's just a zero two two for example this one it's two two zero two uh, echo seven yeah so all of these they're zero and this one it's I don't know yeah it's zero two two zero zero so no O in the um, uh, in all the codes Hello guys, I just got the sync data. Uh, I will show you how to make the dealer key. My key is already done, but I will uh, do the process again. So you press key learn, MQB mobilizer, platform, then go instrument with locked uh, emo, with locked neck 32, 35. Then press make dealer key, upload um, emo data. You have to select the car that you have. In our case it's Volkswagen. Then, uh, yeah, okay, all keys lost, you should have the sync data. Select the sync data, open, it's gonna tell you to put the key into the programmer. Um, if you use a key D, as I'm using now, you have to put the key like this into the programmer, like this. But if you use an XOR, you, you have to put it on the other side. Uh, I'm not gonna do this process because I've done it already. Let's press OK, it's gonna give us an error. Perfect, no problem. Okay, let's press um, add key, only one key, upload emo data, then press next, is the car key, let's see. yes it is, do you want to perform yes, make sure you got the key ring out, and put the key close to the, to the ignition coil. Again, add key, no demo data. Start learning. Yeah, it's all done. Make sure you wait until you see the message on the um, on the VVDI uh, that all keys successfully learned. Then you can take off the ignition and everything is going to be successful. All we need to do now is just to disconnect the wires from the connector, put the connector back and we'll start the engine to see if um, everything is okay. Yes guys, it's all done. I learned the keys. I connect my, I connect my jump back because the battery is flat and everything is working fine <laughs> that's perfect thank you so much for watching my video if you need any help please leave a comment and if you like the video please uh, share and subscribe thank you so much and i'll see you in the next video